here with Michelle Swimley. She is an R&D scientist with the Agrigenomics Group with Thermo Fisher Scientific. Thanks for being with us today, Michelle. Thank you for having me. Tell me a little bit about your work at Thermo Fisher Scientific. Sure. So I work in the genotyping by sequencing space, also known as GBS, and I'm currently working towards developing tools and technologies uh, for agricultural applications. What are some of the specific projects you've been focused on recently? So I've uh, been developing uh, targeted GBS panels, uh, specifically in plants and in animals, and more recently I've been focused on developing an additional barcode set that we can use with our uh, AgriSeq workflow. Barcoding is great because um, it allows you essentially to pool hundreds of samples together on a, on a single sequencing run. So it, it allows sequencing to become more cost effective in terms of throughput. So a barcode um, is essentially a very small uh, piece of DNA. Think of it as like a unique tag or identifier. And this essentially gets ligated on to our amplicons or uh, you know, our DNA that we want to okay. sequence. And then they get pooled together and then after sequencing, you're allowed to then essentially parse out the individual reads that are associated with each sample and keep those very differentiated. So it allows that pooling process really to work, To occur, right? correct, yes. Right. So what's the process that you use to evaluate or to validate? We've essentially uh, tested these barcodes across a large uh, number of different panels, you know, ranging from like corn, uh, cucumber, soybean, and then we've also looked at, at various metrics um, in terms of performance, so looking at things like call rate to make sure that we're actually getting calls for the samples and that they're the correct calls, also looking at uniformity in our amplicons, making sure that we're sequencing all the way through, and, um, and, and things like reproducibility and consistency between the barcodes. And what have been some of the results of your development and your, your research? Yeah, so the, the outcome has been now we have a new kit of 384 barcodes that is available and it shows very good similar performance to the existing barcode kit. So combined, now we have a solid 768 barcodes that our customers uh, will be able to use. So ultimately now this allows our customers to sequence up to 768 samples per run. So in terms of, of pricing, this uh, dramatically decreases the sequencing cost per sample for our customers. What kind of overall impact uh, do you see this technology having on the agricultural community? So we're essentially um, doubling our throughput capability. So then when you pair this with our AgriSeq technology, um, it allows you to do a pooling step before the library cleanup, so you're then further maximizing on cost savings in terms of reagents, and then after library amplification um, is complete, you're then able to pool up to 768 individual libraries on one sequencing chip and sequence through that. So it's very cost effective in terms of sequencing costs per sample. So ultimately, we're really delivering um, added uh, cost savings and value to the customer in the end. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for all the information today, Michelle. Sure. Thank you for this opportunity.